the perks of being on the Earhart's reservation is getting into their hotel room to drop some little things off. We have this kangaroo from Small World for Miss Kaylee. Little Ariel snow globe for Katrina. This Pixar treasures book for Kieran. We've got Eve and Wally mugs for Ben and Carolyn. Uh, yep. As well as the Spaceship Earth mug because they need that for their collection. We're going to hide this because I don't want mouse keeping to throw it away. But right here is a, some big chunks of bark. <laughs> and this, I don't know if we've ever like shown or it's been a while since we've shown it. Sarah and I back in like 2013 13. went to Marshfield, Missouri where Walt is from. And they had a tree there called on the Walt, old Walt Disney Farm or the old Disney Family Farm called the Dreaming Tree. And that's where Walt would sit there and babysit his little sister. And that's where he fell in love with animals. And that's why people say that he like got the inspiration to draw like, farm animals like mice, cows, and all those kinds of things. And it was, unfortunately, it, it's been ripped up and like it, it died. It got, a couple of infections got struck by lightning. So the tree died, but before that, we took a big piece of bark. Yeah. They've since ourselves. planted a new one, and they actually sell little pieces of the of Dreaming this, Tree. Of the original Dreaming Tree. And so in Marcin, so we just have to go take like once it. a year. But this was years ago, so they don't have a piece, so we're giving them a huge piece mm -hmm. of bark. They lived in Missouri for a period of time, and it's not its not too far, so. For all of you, like, huge Disney fanatics, like, this is, it seems silly, but you, you get how important, like, this is the tree that Walt would underneath and draw on the ground when he was a little boy. Mm -hmm. This is the tree, like, he leaned against. He could have leaned against this bark, back <laughs> to his bark. So the reason why we did that is because this is our... Last day with them. Yeah, and we love them. And we, we do. We very much so love them. Also, you guys know we're downsizing. Uh -huh. um, and so, like, we just have a lot of stuff. And, like, all and those they things. they will use it more. Yeah, all those things, like, we want someone to cherish them. And they will, of all people, love The Guardian show for probably the last time. We were with their hearts, but it was so it's so sad because today's the last day, and we loved it. You, I mean, you guys know we've been raving about it since it started, and we actually saw one of the two, like the two girls that sing in the front. We saw one of them that is off duty today, who probably isn't a part of any of the sets just now in front of the American Adventure. And like I popped in, I was like, hey, I just want you to know, like you are amazing. You guys did great. So we talked to her for a little bit. Where are we going? Living with the land. Living with the land. Living with the land. It's a hot one, but it feels like a good. Yeah, it was a little bit breezy. We were talking yesterday how Epcot is probably the breeziest park, and that's a good thing. Alrighty, we're not gonna wait for Cruella, but we are going to show you her. Yeah, it's not too bad. She's fun, but look at look at the line. Right, we are in Club Cool, and I'm gonna teach Kieran the ways of Beverly. Kieran, are you excited? Ready to try Beverly? He has no idea. He has no idea. This is all through his permission, so. <laughs> Light him I up in the comments. The yeah. right, here we go. All you right, got right your here, cup? Bud. Once. Oh, that's a lot of pictures, huh? Cheers, bud. To Beverly. Oh, 
<laughs> Did you learn? <laughs> Do you want some more? Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. This is one of the best air conditionings on property. So I know Sarah showed it earlier, but I just want to show it. It's been like two hours and the line for Corolla de Vil is still way over there. And it's probably going to go even further once she comes back out because she's not out right now. But we just nailed a uh, rose and crown reservation. Uh, look at oh, that's so nice. She's bringing ice water out to the line. Oh, that is very considerate. I just realized that we've never actually eaten here and we're going to eat outside in this round table and there's nobody here because it's a hundred degrees this is a black and velvet look at that let's look at that it's an amazing course of cider and cider and guinness nice that's fan how do you what do we do we drink it through wow yeah, it's really good good have you ever had that peter no never a black velvet i've done black and tans look at that I got corned beef and cabbage, which that looks delicious. Shepherd's pie, you write it as small. This is my pop burger. Some special sauces. There's beer cheese on there. And Carolyn, the hungriest one. <laughs> the pregnantest one. <laughs> and Miss Katrina got cheesy pasta. All right, here we go. Journey into imagination. How was your rose and crown? Okay, we won't remind Katrina about the blast. We're not gonna. We want to make it a surprise. <laughs> Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc. Imagination is a blast. Imagination. Nothing. Oh, you smiled before it happened. Yeah. Oh, so she knew. She, she got a little scared. It's their tradition to touch the purple feet. <laughs> Thank you. Carolyn Earhart is the, probably one of the only people in the world that loves Joffrey's as much as I do, especially DBC. These are coffees like 743, 44, 45. They taste better in the DBC. <laughs> Choking like a, like a true saleswoman. <laughs> Why have you ever been on the top of here? Yeah.
have a storm rolling on through. And a five minute spaceship earth wait. When I say spaceship, you say earth. Spaceship. Spaceship. Remember how easy it was to learn your ABCs? Thank the Phoenicians. They invented them. Call it the first backup system. The books are saved, and with them are dreams of the future. By now, we're all communicating from anywhere on Earth. And in 1969, from somewhere else. Together, we form a super network that glows with billions of interactions. And once again, we stand on the brink of a new renaissance. Now, this future was entirely built by Katrina. And now I believe your future is just about ready. Welcome to the future. Or should I say, your future. Ah! Well, 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 it is raining. Hopefully this clears out the park. This is why the Burkharts and the Earharts get along together so well, because it is pouring rain still and it's not gonna let up. If anything, it's gonna get worse around Illuminations time. And we uh, partially suited up. Your hat looks great underneath that, by the way. <laughs> and we're gonna go see Baymax, which is kind of, why did it get harder when we got out yeah. here? I looked at our, I looked at our rain pump covers today, and I was like, "Nah, we're good." Thank you, Baymax. Thank you, Baymax. <laughs> Baymax can't get through the door. There. there. This is yet another first for the Brookharts doing something with Earharts. Meeting joy and sadness. Oh, look at them, their actual memories on the wall. Oh, we are, we are in headquarters. Yes, because see all the gears? That's, that's actually where these people live, this goofball island. Wow. Oh, look at the photos changing in the background. <laughs> Perfect. That was awesome. I didn't, I never realized because we've never done before that back there is headquarters and it looks like it's still pouring. And now it's getting darker, so it's getting ominous. Oh, it is sufficiently creepy out. Ooh, the, the camera went all kinds of crazy foggy. Look at Seth. <laughs> we beat the rain into Mexico. We're gonna raid the World Showcase. And we're gonna get the Grand Tour really fast. Are you pumped? Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! That's some serious excitement. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, due to unfavorable weather conditions, this evening's performance of Illuminations, Reflections of Earth, has been delayed. Alright, I don't want enough for it. We don't know what we're doing yet. We're going to walk towards the International Gateway and see all the weather, crowds, morals, emotions, and uh, steam. Oh, Sarah! She literally just had the camera up what there for like saying, six minutes. Nowhere here is in I can't no, see that was super cool. <laughs> that was giant. That was the whole sky. Well, it's quite empty. And this here, Epcot. Hollywood Hornet just taking over Epcot. <laughs> There's absolutely no music. And we also were just told, have a good night by a cast member. If they cancel Illuminations, I am worth no credit. All night, I'm like, they don't cancel Illuminations, <laughs> they just delay it. I don't know, it's after 9 o'clock now. There's the been music, no words. The music no part music. is creepy. That's the creepy part. I'm depressed, so I'm eating. <laughs> and we're drinking. And we ate, um, we ate dinner. We did. Look at my pet head, too. Tonight we're watching The Vow. Um, I don't know if this is going to become a trend because Ben and Matt get up early. And we don't want to make a we don't, yeah, we, so they go to bed early, and we don't want to make a lot of money out there. Um, Our TV is like on their wall. Yeah, so we might figure something out, so or see test them. See, see. The TV is really loud. One moment. We're terribly depressed that the Earharts are leaving. 
Luckily, they'll be back in like six or seven weeks. They're like, who's your next visitor? And we're like, you. <laughs> but it'll be really sad after that because then they're not going to come back for like almost a year. But it was a lot of fun hanging out with them. Now I feel like we're going to go back to more of a normal life. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a couple of friends that are visiting for short trips between now and six weeks, I think, but nothing crazy. Yeah. So well, you'll probably go back to seeing, you'll see Matt and Ben, you'll probably go back to seeing... More resorts. More resorts. Disney Springs, we haven't been there in a while. We've got plans with Katie this week, I'm sure it won't... I think we're going to do trivia on Tuesday. I'm sure we'll have plans with Joey, Beth, and Josh, mm -hmm. and Tyler, by like tomorrow evening or something. Mm -hmm. um, but we love all of them and those plans, so... We're going to sign up? Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>